we have uh, we've written about a framework for understanding what we call the plasticity of well-being, the extent to which well-being can be transformed, uh, and also the factors that are responsible for uh, for changes in well-being, whatever those influences are. And the framework holds that there are four key pillars to well-being. The first pillar is awareness, uh, which includes our capacity to regulate our attention. It also includes a, uh, a process that psychologists and neuroscientists call meta-awareness. Meta-awareness is knowing what our minds are doing. Um, that may seem a little strange to viewers. Don't we all know what our minds are doing? But I think many people, including myself, have had the experience of reading a book where you might be reading each word on a page. And after a couple of pages, you realize that even though you've been reading each word, you actually have no idea what you've just read. Your mind is lost, it's somewhere else. That moment of recognition is a moment of meta-awareness where you can bring your mind back to the reading. Uh, and so meta-awareness is very important. So those are the components involved in awareness. And it turns out that when people are distracted, when they are failing to deploy meta-awareness, they're significantly less happy. 